This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God Written by David Hoffmeister And read by Tarana Singh In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 6, this is Section 6. What is life without goals and ambitions? Hi David, what is life without goals and ambitions? I have heard so many times people quoting, Man without a dream or a vision shall perish. An aim or a goal in life drives us to do work or action and that keeps us busy and occupied. Now even if we try to do action just for the sake of action and not for any rewards or fulfillment of desires, still how do we pick any action without a purpose? I mean, I brush my teeth to keep them clean and it is a hygienic thing to do. If you say you reply to people's emails and do talks, I am sure there is a goal, aim or purpose behind it. But choosing you as an example would not be the right thing to do, as you are an exception. So many people with good intentions are still action-driven by an aim or goal, basing decisions on future goals, like, what should I do today that takes care of my family now and also in the future? Goal, ambition and aim are things of the future. So my question is, what is living in the present if the essence of the present is the past and the future. Present does not exist without a past or future, right? Beloved one, thanks for your sincere question. It seems that life is moving forward in this world and that time and progress move forward toward the future. Future goals seem to aim at something better than the past or present. Yet the past is gone and the future is but imagined. Both are defenses against the present moment and the realization that everything is perfect right now. In awakening, time seems to collapse. It seems to shorten and it seems to move backward toward the original error and then disappear entirely in the innocence that precedes the error. In awakening, time is like a carpet that rolls back until it rolls up completely so that nothing is left at all. The present is before time was. This is another way of saying what Jesus taught. Before Abraham was, I am. Awakening is remembering original innocence. And this enlightenment experience has everything to do with now and nothing to do with time. The essence of the present moment is eternity and now has nothing to do with linear time or past or future. Life is a state of mind. With regard to this world, the closest approximation of eternity is now. Now is the rebirth of spirit in awareness. Now is free of past regrets and grievances and future worries and anxious plans. There is a meaning to quote you share. 
Man without a dream or a vision shall perish. Without the happy dream of non-judgment, without the vision of Christ, everything of this world does seem to perish. For nothing of this world is everlasting. Goals and ambitions seem practical in the world, yet they are aimed at the future. Future outcomes, I assure you, are ego motivations. Present peace is a goal worth desiring, for it is more than possible, it is inevitable. The experience of present peace results from listening only to the spirit within, and to the spirit there is no tomorrow. The Holy Spirit uses time to teach that there is no time. This is the purpose that inspires and blesses and even seems to motivate action until the awareness dawns that nothing is really happening. The happy dream is like a lucid dream in which the dreamer is aware of dreaming. Dreams are not taken to be reality and sleep is not taken to be wakefulness. If you feel like you are driven to do things, ask yourself if there is a fear of consequences. If you believe that to not do things will result in fearful consequences, then it is wise to examine what is believed. As long as fearful beliefs are held as true, thoughts and actions will be fear-driven. Forgiveness is a miracle and it releases the mind from the fear of consequences. Let the Holy Spirit be the purpose that gently guides and you will never feel driven again. Value not one belief the ego sponsors and enjoy the experience of divine ease. Not one seeming difficulty but will melt away before you reach it. Accept present bliss as our purpose and watch how bright the world seems in awareness. Seek not to change the world. Seek rather to change your mind about the world. Enlightenment is as simple as accepting the changeless as true. For there is nothing else but love. All glory to God.